hello friends here is another video on how to install google assistant on your redmi note 3 smartphone running on any version of android if you are running on uh, android marshmallow or you are running on lollipop or if you are running on a custom rom like cyanogen mod or any other rom this method will properly work on your smartphone and you can easily run the google assistant on your smartphone so in this method all you need is a rooted smartphone and you have to you have a custom recovery install like twrp or a cwm recovery in this method we will you will need to install the exposed if you don't uh, have any information about exposed you can search on youtube or google and to make sure that what is exposed and uh, there are a couple of videos and many videos on how to install uh, exposed on your redmi note 3 i am also providing the proper files for uh, installing exposed if you are running on android marshmallow so i can show you that i am running on android m so you can see that i am running on android m and uh, all you need to download a couple of files that that uh, i am providing and uh, the links of these files are pro uh, provided in the description so you can download them all from there so you can see i have downloaded all the files this is the google app file first file you can see and this is an, a module called anify and this is the exposed uninstaller file if anything goes wrong you can always uninstall the exposed and this is the exposed uh, installer file so this is the exposed installer file only work on the redmi note 3 uh, uh, snapdragon edition and uh, this file is only for android m users no do not uh, install it on your lollipop so First of all, you need to flash the exposed uh, file from your recovery uh, to install the exposed and then you have to install the exposed installer APK. So you need to install the exposed installer otherwise the exposed will not work. So I am also giving you the APK of exposed. You can see I have it's their exposed APK. So I am also providing the link of this exposed installer so when you have installed the exposed your system in your system the exposed installer will look like this so if you have successfully installed the exposed uh, the exposed will look like this there is a green signal that you have um, installed and uh, this is uh, the framework information that uh, your system and your smartphone and the processor architecture and all of this stuff so then you will need to install the anify module file this is a simple apk file so you need to go to the download files you have downloaded and then you will have to select this anify module file i have already installed it so you still saying me this like this so when you install this you have to enable it from the exposed so you can go to the expose uh, sorry for that and then you have to swipe it and uh, click on to modules and you have to enable it and this will ask you to reboot your file then first we uh, before uh, before rebooting you will need to disable all of the options because uh, this is this is more this is not a module for me why customization this is for the uh, aosp roms or um, the the uh, cyanogen more roms customization so this is not for me UI so you will have to disable all the options like I did here and if you go to all of the option you will disable all of this stuff otherwise your system will not work properly so disable all of this and then reboot your smartphone so this will enable the anify what is anify anify enables the google assistant to work properly on your smartphone so we have installed this uh, this um, x exposed module and then you will need to install the google apk so let's install this 
and uh, check this so you can see this is installing let's wait to install the Google app So it will taking time. Let's install it. So it is installed. So do not open it. Click on done. Okay. Now. Let's, let's So all you need all you have to need to go to settings and uh, then go to installed apps and uh, go to defaults and go to assist and voice input you can see and this is already selected if there is none it, it will it will look like this you will have to select Google app and click on agree so that's all and then you will have to go back to menu and then if there is a not proper access uh, given to the google app we will need to go to the permissions okay and then go to the permissions and uh, then go to microphone and uh, then click on allow the google app to use microphone that's all so the final step is here to assure that Google uh, Assistant is working fine. Just click on this uh, uh, menu button for just five seconds, and uh, you can see the Google Meet your personal Google Assistant is written here. And uh, I can skip to it later. Okay. Hi, I'm your and Google you Assistant. Can Google Assistant is I can help you fine. find what you need and get things done. If you need help, just ask, what can you do? So, how can I help? So, you can see Google Assistant is working fine. So, that's all guys. The, the stuff that you need and uh, this is uh, the all the uh, needed files links are provided in the description so you can download it from there and just uh, just carefully follow the video so you can use and uh, enjoy the google assistant i think that video will be helpful for you guys if you like my video please uh, subscribe my channel for more videos coming up and keep supporting me guys thank you very much for watching this video